Okay, I'm back with more Secret of the Old Clock. Hopefully this one won't be as long as last time. But we'll see. It will probably be long in the fact that I still don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Okay, yeah, we just talked to the creepy guy. So, do I have to talk to people again? I'm not doing- uh, hopefully I don't have to do mini golf this episode. I really don't want to do that. Alright, maybe we gotta go talk to Emily again. If we don't, I'll probably just cut this scene out. Hi, Nancy. What was your mother's middle name? Lois. Why? Oh, just curious. Oh, that's right. That was in the book that we saw. That was like, oh, all these little hints. Do you play much miniature golf on the course that's out back? Not anymore. <laughs> when I was little, I used to play with Josiah. Sometimes he'd help me get par just so I could get something from the prize machine. Do you remember what you got? A little toy dog or something? Very cheaply made and quite forgettable, obviously. I'll be back in a little bit. Thanks again, Nancy. Okay, so that was important. She just gave us like two of the answers of the stuff we need. Um, is it in my notebook? Okay. Um, are we gonna have to go look at that book every time we need to figure out something? I remember that there were hints, but What's this? Oh, is that the telegram I picked up from my dad? Do I have to call him now? If I don't, then I'll just cut out this next part. <laughs> Drop a nickel into the slot, please. There we go. Now, how may I be of service? I'd like to talk to Carson Drew. His number is KL57187. Hang on a minute. Carson Drew. Hi, Dad. Did you pick those papers up yet? Yep. Great. You can give them to me tonight when you get home from Emily's. So, what else have you been doing? Oh, he still thinks I'm going to be home tonight. <laughs> this Richard Topham guy honestly believes he has psychic powers. He's not just some sort of con man? No, I think he's so good at convincing himself that he can read minds and move spoons that he has no problem convincing other people that he can. Or perhaps it's a function of the clever Hans effect. The what? Sometimes an interrogator will give involuntary visual and or verbal cues in order to help another person arrive at the desired answer. Keep your eyes and ears open when you're around this Topham fellow. He may unconsciously tell you more than either of you realizes. Okay. I'm a little worried about Emily. Why? She admitted to me that lately she's been hearing voices and seeing things move all by themselves. Jane thinks she's losing her marbles. Running a restaurant is a big responsibility. Maybe it's getting to her. Well, that's what Jane keeps saying. Maybe Jane's got her boots on after all. Hmm. Do you have time to give me a hint about something? Of course I do. What do you need? What do I do? Any hint when it comes to opening the lock that's on the carriage house outside Josiah Crowley's? Take a good look around inside Crowley's house. Chances are he wrote down a reminder to himself about it. Goodbye, Dad. Bye-bye. So, oh, was that the house that we saw earlier? So I was supposed to go there. Whoops. Oh well. Wait, no, this is his house, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know where I was thinking of a different house. So. Hello, Miss Drew. Hello, Mr. Topham. So is that, is that the book that we saw? You don't mind if I look around, do you? Go right ahead. Was that the stuff with the, the names? Oh yeah, lock on the carriage house. Okay. What are you when you win barred bounce? That was like, um... Um... I already forgot. Some old word. What poet is the cat's meow? I think that was Shakespeare. What par- what will par- on my miniature golf course get you dog and what's Gloria's middle name Lois so I'm pretty sure it began with a Y so YS DL YS DL is that it we'll try it
There's no why. <laughs> No S either. <laughs> Wait, is it William Shakespeare? Is there a W? No. Oh wait, that that just says it's right. Is that what that means? Oh, Keen. <laughs> with an E, not with an A. I don't know where I was getting Y from. Okay, so Keen. Can I come in now? <laughs> Let me in! Let me in! Okay. Do I have to type in Lois now? Yeah. Okay, but nothing happened. The other hint was like, um, what does a card get you? Doggy? Dog, there's no D. Oof, okay. I go back. Keen. Okay, so that is the first hint. I can't, I can't get in there right now. You can't open your notebook? Oh, there's a checklist! Oops, okay. Check! Oh, that's gonna get annoying. Okay. I did that. Check! Okay, did that. That's done. Okay, did that. Check. Uh, the receipt I found blowing around outside is for. Oh, that was the key thing. Didn't figure that out. Is this on the logic test? Oh, uh, no. Uh, I might have to do that last. Precise things and look for his clue. Look for clue as to what his clue might be. I haven't taken a good look. I don't know the formula. I know it does. Check. Discover what poet. Okay. Make part. So I do have to play the miniature golf. Oh boy. That'll have to be its own episode, probably. Lois. Check. See if Mrs. Sheldon at Twin Elms ever returned the trivet. It could be important. Oh, I have to go to Twin Elms. Okay. So, well, at least we have a task list now. Okay. Okay. Well. I haven't done much of anything this episode. This will just have Hello, to be a long one. That's fine. Hi, Mr. Topham. Leave me alone. <laughs> you don't mind if I look around, do you? Go right ahead. I gotta look for the poet. Radio reader. That's what you think. Depends on what you do with the light first, pea brain. What? <laughs> All right. Can I look at your books? Am I to assume that you have the correct solution to that logic problem? No. <laughs> right here. Let's have a look. Oops, I didn't do anything. Hmm, sorry. Unless and until you solve the problem correctly, we cannot speak. That's okay. I didn't want to talk to you anyway. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, what's this? Was this Josiah's clock? Everything in here was Josiah's. Duh. <laughs> Mice. Is this another puzzle? Oh, it's a matching game. We'll also do that later. Giddy, what is your favorite poet? Okay. Thank you for telling me. I mean, with the, you know... I figured it would be William Shakespeare because of like Midsummer's Night Dream, but perhaps I was wrong. Because I don't think we can fit William or Shakespeare on that little puzzle. Please Ooh. don't go in there. 
Maybe I'm supposed to put Bill, like Bill Shakespeare? Oh, Puck. No, that couldn't be it. He's not a poet. Unless in, there's like a little... Oh, buddy, he, he, he Puck spoke rhymes in Midsummer's Night Dream. I don't know. Let's try <laughs> Should we try it? There's no you. Okay. Well. Who is Josiah's favorite poet? That's the question we need answered. What's cooking? Have you met Richard Topham? Yeah, I've had the displeasure of meeting that quack. You don't think he can help people develop their psychic powers? The only thing he's good at is separating little old ladies and dim-witted rubes from their hard-earned cash. In fact, mm. he came over while they were putting out the fire today. Asked me who you were, and I was so frazzled at the time, I told him. I don't usually give that crackpot the time of day. Cra Wait, I thought you said there was no one else around when they were putting out the fire. Why are you lying? Josiah Crowley seemed to think he was legit. Like that circus fella said, there's a sucker born every minute. Me? I think ESP is a lot of J-U-N-K. You tell him. Does the miniature golf course that's out back belong to the inn? No, that was Josiah Crowley's. Way I hear, he built it himself. Have you tried it out? Me? Please, I got better things to do with my time. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you later. You betcha. Okay, well... I think to end this episode out, I'll go do that memory puzzle and maybe that will give me a hint on the poet. Hello, Miss Drew. Hi, Mr. Topham. I don't want you to talk to me ever again. Do you mind if I look around some more? Be my guest. Did that do anything? <gasps> oh, wonder what this mirror is doing in here. Give me that. <laughs> I can't do anything with it right now. Okay, so that did do absolutely nothing. I'm not gonna do that again. Well, <laughs> I guess the next thing to do is to play some miniature golf. Although she, Emily, already said what it would give us. I just don't know how that translates into this barn puzzle. So I guess we'll go do that, which is a shame, but also inevitable when it comes to this game. So stay tuned for that pain, and we will be back later. 